Hey everybody, David here and this is another product review. In this particular product review we are going to be taking a look at the September 2015 13th Age Monthly PDF and it is called Chroma Dragonics and it is by Cal Moore and Rob Heinsu. And the 13th Age Monthly is a subscription service that they have on the Pelgrane Press website where you get a free PDF between 8 and 15 pages at the end of every month and it is uh, official canon uh, or adventures, monsters, all kinds of uh, uh, additional classes, races, lore, everything that pertains to 13th Age is just more canon added every month. Uh, it is $24.95 a year. If you have it for a year, usually you get a discount on the second year, which is $5 off, which I hope they continue that. And also, if you don't want the subscription, if you see a PDF that you like, they are individually priced on the site at $2.95. So, Chroma Draconics. This is all about the Dragonics. And in the core book, the Dragonics are a optional race that you can play. Basically, they are equivalent to like a Dragonborn race of D&D &D or Pathfinder or any of the other uh, you know, D20 games out there or any other game out there that has a Dragonborn. And on the art is some great color, uh, great colored art. You can see that the PDF is professionally put together and uh, the Dragonics are a optional race like I mentioned in, in the core book. And it doesn't go into much detail about the Draconics. Well, now that 13th Age has been out for uh, a year, two years, it's the Dragonics are actually a pretty popular and heavily played race. So they wanted to add more lore to the Dragonics. And what this PDF does is it uh, gives you that lore, uh, it gives you all kinds of stories, it gives you some creatures, and, and, and we'll go through this page by page. So uh, basically it talks to you about, uh, you know, it tells you the names and how you can actually signify them between the different colors or the chromatic colors that they are, whether it be red, white, green, black, or blue. And uh, there is a color theme in this, and there are no metallic uh, dragonics. So uh, I am not sure if they are going to add the metallic draconics later on. I'm sure they probably will, uh, which would be another great uh, you know monthly supplement. But I really do like this uh, this supplement. So the names, uh, as I said, this this sh this tells you about the name Worm Spawn and how uh, the Worm Spawn is actually. It is a der derogative name that uh, a lot of other races call the draconic, the draconics, and where they derive and they're not pure dragons. And the draconics, they just do not like that. Now, there's also the next section, divided dra draconics, where it talks about all five of the different chromatic colors and how you know they are not with one another. They are actually. Uh, against one another for the most part. Culture and personality. Uh, this is a list of, uh, actually this is basically a list of 13 things that might be true about Chroma Dragonics. And one of the examples is uh, the Chroma Dragonics, they do not care how much possessions that aren't strong enough to withstand their breath weapon. Accidents and small spats happen, so only very durable items or magically durable items truly matters to Draconics. And there are 13 of these, and they're, you know, they're pretty quirky, and I like that. That's one good thing about 13th Age is, you know, there is a sense of humor in this game. Now, the origin myths, the next section, deals with the five different colored dragons. And here is the Children of the Glacier, which is basically derives the, this is the origin story of the White Dragonics, the Green Prag Pragmatist, which is based off of the Green Dragonics. Dancing Shadows is based off of the Black Dragonics. The Original Dragons is based off of the Blue Dragonics in Draken Hall. Then there is the Eggs and Flame origin theory, which is based on derived off of the Red Dragonics. And then if you don't want to have separate stories or origin myths, 
then you can go ahead and, and take this putting the stories together and it gives you a couple ideas on how to incorporate all of the myths together into one story which is really nice now as we move along in the PDF icon influences what would 13th age be without its 13 icon influences and this section here you know basically talks about the icons correlating with the dragonics and there's you know four sections here that you can read now the chroma behemoth the chroma beh behemoth is basically there is a the, the behemoths if you do not know what the uh, behemoths are they are a massive creature if you think a tarasque is big just imagine how big a chroma behemoth would be that is about a hundred times bigger than a tarasque and it could easily step on a tarasque and never even know that it was there so on top of these behemoths they follow a counterclockwise path every year and they basically migrate from one area of the dragon empire to the other and it, this the chroma behemoth goes into talking about the five different colored chroma dragonics how they switch as they get to different areas of the dragon empire these different colored dragonics they are now in charge of the civilization that lives on top of this giant uh, behemoth and I think that's a that's a really good a uh, really good campaign hook now along with you know uh, all this lore and story and uh, origin myths there's also some new player options which is uh, quite nice now like I said they're an optional race in the core 13th age book and now in this PDF they've actually added breath weapons so what would a, a dragonic or slash dragonborn be without its you know very popular breath weapon so now that they've added the the breath weapon they've added some feats that you can take with it and also they've added a new limited flight racial power as well really nice and you have to be draconic to use these these new uh, racial powers and you know to put the feats now if you are playing a barbarian and if it is a draconic barbarian then you have a new uh, champion tier barbarian talent called roaring rage and you, you know, basically you have to be a dragonic and a barbarian to use this and there's a couple of ways that you can update it upgrade it with feats now if you're playing a draconic and a fighter and you can see that the art in this is really nice as well the art is amazing now if you're playing the Dragonic Fighter, then you're going to have a couple new maneuvers that you're going to be able to take as well. Uh, there's a first level maneuver called Tail Whip and a seventh level maneuver called Gather Breath. All right. Then, if you're playing a Dragonic Sorcerer, then there's a new Sorcerer talent called Rumble, Mumble, and Rumble. And what, uh, what would a 13th age PDF be if they didn't throw in some new monsters and monster stats? So there are five new monsters as well. And each one is a uh, different color. And there is a green scale wild stalker, level three archer, a blue scale lightning caller, which is a level four caster. There is also a level five white scale rhyme walker a level 6 black scale shatter dancer and a level 7 wrecker red scale fiery vanquisher and you can see that all of these monsters follow the same 13th age block format for all of their creatures uh, you can see that uh, they have you know the resist there's all kinds of uh, close quarter attacks there's ranged attacks there's all kinds of melee there are uh, nastier specials that, that, that I can see all kinds of special draconic uh, features for each one of these that are unique and uh there you go 10 page pdf by uh cow Moore, rob heinsu chroma draconics this is uh like i said the september 2015 13th age monthly pdf and you can get it on the program press website for 295 or you can just get the whole entire first year all 12 pdfs for 
$24.95. And you also get some perks as well, where you get to download all of the public play content that they have too. And there is a lot of public play content by Ash Law. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you guys think of the Chroma Draconics. What would you do? Uh, how would you combine those origin myths together to make one story? I'd like to hear that. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. And until next time, happy gaming.